Hey everyone, today I'll be doing another leak code 101 symmetric tree. Uh, given the root of the binary tree, check whether it is a mirror of itself, i.e., symmetric around its center. So, we'll be seeing if the binary tree is symmetric or not, returning true if it is true, if it is uh, symmetric, and returning false if it is false. So, like in this example here, uh, we have give, uh, we have given a binary tree and now we are going to see if it is symmetric or not to see the symmetry just hold the binary tree and if we fold it the right on the right side like suppose this is a paper and uh, we just fold it so it will be on the same pattern at each value will collide you can say collide and will be face to face uh, to the same value 3 will be touching 3 and 4 will be touching 4 2 will be touching 2 so this will be a true uh, condition because obviously this is a symmetry but now in this case this is not symmetry the values are same but the pattern is not the same and the pattern is not the symmetrical is same but not symmetrical uh, just say it like that uh, you know how symmetry works this is not symmetrical and that's it now we'll be doing this in recursion um, so the first our first condition will be whether to check if the root is null or not if the root is null we will obviously uh, return true because there is nothing to compare and we will be going to the left then and after that we will be going to the right comparing these two two and two so if it is true then obviously it is uh, a symmetrical tree a, a symmetric tree uh, after that we will be comparing left dot left root dot left dot left which will be 3 and with root dot right dot right so these two will be same and the third condition will be uh, uh, the fourth condition the third or fourth condition uh, the fourth fourth yes it is a fourth condition the first condition was our head node to check head node the, uh, the second condition was to check our right and left the third condition is to check left dot left and right dot left and the fourth condition yes now it is our fourth condition to check whether left dot right is equal to uh, right dot left yes these are our four conditions and we will be implementing it so first of all we will check if the root is null we will just simply return true and if it is not then we will call a function and we will be imp implementing this function later we will be passing it the left node and the right node and after that we will be implementing this function mirror self oh, now now what we will be doing is just catching these uh, uh, root left and root right. So we will make another variable root uh, node. Uh, you can say variable, you can say whatever you want to say. It. So root and we have cached this variable. Now we will be checking if they are null or not. Uh, left while left uh, root and right root are still there then we will just return uh, return the uh, this will be a recursive function so first of all we will be checking the values uh, left left root dot val is equal to right root dot val and also alongside this we will be passing this is a recursive function let me write it down when i will explain later uh, self dot mirror we will be passing left root alongside left its left and right with its right right root dot right and after that we will again um, pass this function uh, left this time left root dot right 
right and right root left so i think this is okay hopefully i didn't make any mistake here so after doing all of this we will just return whether the left root is equal to the right root so that's it now let me go through so there is no error i think just let me check if there is any then i will explain no there is no error so what we are doing here is uh, this is a very long return statement uh, just like return statement in recursion are just like this and first we will be comparing the values at the and let me take our example values at the left node and the right node if they are simple uh, if they are same then we will be going forward and taking a uh, returning true then we will be going forward and uh, passing these two root left and root right uh, two will be uh, this three and this three so we will be passing them comparing them yes their values are true we will return true and after that uh, after this and self dot mirror we will call it again and pass root left dot right which will be this four and root uh, right uh, right root dot left which will be this four comparing the their uh, values yes their values are same so we will just return true and this true we will catch it here and just return it so that's it